Hello and welcome to Richard Banker Web Design Tutorials. Today we're looking at how to set up multiple domains on the same Joomla install. So we have our one Joomla install here. Ta da! And we have three domains that we want on this install uh, jmwindowsindoor.com, j and m windows doors.com and jnwindowsdoor.ca and so when we flip between these we want them to do different things we want them to look differently but we want to control everything for within the same system so this is how we're going to do it first we're using a component called virtual domains uh, virtual domains will allow us to set up these domains in such a way so the first thing you want to do is install virtual domains and then we're going to add your domain. So in your control panel, this is the way that I found worked best. We're going to add on the, these domains. Create add-on domains. So jnmwindows.com. We have our base domain. And then you want uh, you can't uh, do this and have your everything in a subdomain of some sort. Uh, if you have everything set up in a subdomain, then this just won't work. Uh, to set this up correctly, you need to have your root domain pointed to your root folder of public HTML. Then we set up our following domains that we want access to the site. We set them up as add-on domains. And normally add-on domains would have their own folder, but instead of the document root being slash whatever your other site is, you set the document root to public HTML the same as your main domain. So add-on domains pointing to the exact same spot as your other domain. After you install virtual domains, you can add new domains, domain name, and then you have all these configuration options, which I'll briefly touch on this. This is just a quick tutorial to give you a brief overview of what's going on here. And when everything's working correctly, your host check will say OK. So we have our default domain. So now I've got this all set up here on my site. Uh, we've got jnwindowsdoor.com. So when I click on that, I've got it set up to go to a different site. You can see that uh, basically the only difference is that the color of my links have changed. Uh, everything else has been the same. This here, this module that we've got here, uh, is the same across all three domains. We didn't change it. Up in the top here, it's jnmwindowdoor.com. Now let's see, let's go jnmwindowsanddoor.com. You can see, change, the color changed. Uh, this changed. We can also filter our menu items on the side. So when I go back to windowsanddoors.ca, you can see we changed to red. And this, uh, what you can't see up here is the actual domain being displayed at the top is also uh, just your domain name. So it looks like you have three uh, websites, but you're using the same system in the back end. That's a very quick overview of what uh, is happening there. Uh, hopefully we'll get into more depth here in a little bit. Uh, I'll just click on this and open it up. You can see I've got my domain name, a couple items. Then you have your site configuration within this. Uh, the template style it should use, what the na site name is called, language, all those different things. You can also set language filters. So in this case, when we went to jnmwindowsdoors.com, we wanted all of the side menu to show up. But say we have a menu that's the same across all of them except for one menu item. We can choose to hide that menu item for each one and display a different one. So in this case... I didn't want these second ones to show up there. And there we go, so we hid them. So that works really good. Uh, you can also set access levels. Um, filter components, uh, different translation options, as well as create custom parameters for each site. If you're looking at setting up your own multi-website uh, install, and you're having trouble with it, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Uh, this is using the virtual domains component. I found that their documentation is 
limited and uh, it took me a while to figure it all out but if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and we'd love to help you out thanks and uh, thanks for checking out richard banger web design tutorials